Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy. So, let's collect our 21 ups again, since I left the game again. And let's head, I believe, back upstairs for another boss, I believe. I can't actually remember, which is surprising because I played earlier in the week. So, I don't, I don't know what happened to me. But anyway, the good news is that we have this teleport teleporter thing to get up there quickly. So, let's just get over to the engine room with a risky jump, I guess, supposedly. But not too risky. Now, how are we doing here? We got, we've got everything here, except for Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor. King Caliente! He's back, in about time too. He's bigger, he's faster, and stronger too. And we're gonna beat him up, just because. Now, where is the cannon? Probably way on the other side of the planet, but that's okay. I can, I can do, I can do a deal with this. Follow me all the way over to this launch star. I even avoided every single enemy on that planet. <laughs> I basically didn't see them at all. Just because I went backwards instead of forwards. Oh, these Perdubu things. I'm gonna avoid that, I think. Because I believe in my skill. Not for much longer, but I believe in it. At the moment. Oh, please go. If I give a penny more grand stars, Dad's gonna get mad. Well, that's true because you've already just given me all of your stars, and you've only battled me yourself once. You've just sent your minions to fight me every other time. I mean, your minions are also bosses, but also still. You could put a little bit more effort in. Make me fight you and three bosses at the same time. It's actually interesting that this game doesn't have multiple bosses at the same time. In fact, you don't really see... There's not really any times in Mario games where you are fighting multiple bosses at the same time, except for, like, um... Mario Maker, but does that really count? I guess it does. Oh, I'm backflipped instead of long jumping. That's not what I wanted. Well, so this is difficult to keep jumping on top of... forever. As Luigi, slightly. Anyway, we're on to third phase now. So let's not die in the lava, and let's not get hit by any of the meteors, either. Oh my gosh. We're good. We're still good. And... great. Do the meteors stay there, or are they gonna go away? Oh no, they go away. That's good. Also, we don't have to worry about these platforms sinking anymore, which is nice. So relaxing, just walking over to the Grand Star. Luigi, it's not a start, it's a grand start. Get your terminology right. But anyway, now that we have the last dome unlocked, I guess we should also probably finish the game. So we can actually unlock lots of other things so we can do them and not have a lot of trouble getting them done. Since we need to have other stars available to us, just in case there's nothing available. 
Let's go to the center of the universe. And now I can actually talk over this cutscene and point out what's weird about it. Also, where do these pole things come from? That, like, lock the ship in place, and also there goes part of the platforms and... Oh my goodness. Where do those star rod things come from, though? Just, what is, what is happening? How does this happen? I mean, it must be cool on the inside, though, if we're able to, like, float in the air without platforms or something. And just watch as we fly through space. And I love the army, uh, like, the, the ships and just around the castle. There's a warp field inside the castle. Go, they are inside, hurry. Well, that warp field's not going to matter once we actually get done with everything else, so. Because for some reason, the warp field, when we, when we get out of the warp field, the planet exploding happens outside of the warp field. I don't know. Maybe it's not kind of a in... Like, it's not a bigger on the inside kind of thing. It's actually just teleporting us to a different planet that's nearby or something. But then why can't we just go there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The Fate of the Universe, Part 3. The Universe again. Okay. Let's see if I can actually do this without making too many jumps that I shouldn't be making. Okay, just dodge. Ooh, 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 that was nearly bad. Get in there. I do actually like the way that this is like a broken down old, old tower, I guess. But I really love the way that these planets are connected with the gravity fields. Well, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, there's a invisible wall there, and now I'm dead. <gasps> but no, I'm not. I'm still alive. It's a true hero story. <laughs> and then I died anyway. <laughs> By long jumping into the fireball. Good thing that this, um, this checkpoint is here. Otherwise, bad things would happen. Oh, fireball. Fireball. Yum. Okay. This ice section is fairly simple. Oh, as long as I don't spin out into the void and then fall into the planet. I don't even know what this planet is supposed to be made of. Made of. It's like an ice fire planet, I guess. Something like that. Okay, let's -a go. Very nice. Also, there's a tornado there on the planet. I didn't see that before. I wonder if that's some kind of way that you could shortcut things. Because obviously we need more shortcuts. Okay. For some reason, I feel like I've had trouble on this particular section before with the blocks fading away, but I don't know how. You can usually just tank the damage and be alright. Hello, Bullet Bill. Oh. Oh. I can't. I can't jump like this. Oh. 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 That's... Very close. Okay. This is fine. Just going a full rotation before actually continuing. Okay. We're good. We're so good. Why wouldn't we be good? I can't think of a single reason. Oh, pain. But it's okay because there are coins here and I skipped them anyway. Okay. Cool. Let's go with this then. We're at the end anyway, so. But of course, I'm, I'm probably going to skip the live stream anyway. 
Also, are those the gold coin things on the propeller? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so my special one is Peach, and Peach calls me Luigi because I'm her special one as well. Or something. I feel like Mario's gonna be mad. Just a little bit. Oh, I need to make sure I skip over that. I wonder... I wonder how... I don't know. How does Daisy feel about this? Is Daisy officially... Luigi's special one, or... Well, I guess now it's Peach as the... Um... Official special one, which is awkward. Especially because Peach is just okay with this. Although I think she just wants to be rescued. So Luigi, as you can see, I've got big plans and stopping you is on the top of my list. I'm it's glad I'm glad you have a bucket list, Bowser. It's it's good. Ow, pain. I need to not pain. I need to not get pain. No, oh, here he comes. Die. Okay. This should be good. Oh, here he comes again. Ow, pain. I got that both times the first time doing this boss fight, but I was also playing as Mario, and the controls are slightly different. So let's see if I can do this now. Like that, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Also, I guess Bowser has his own gravity because he pulls Luigi in with him when he goes to another planet. Oh, I missed. That's not good. Especially if he gets back up because he can, he can get back up. Ooh, hello. I forgot I can actually hit you with things, can't I? I really need to take advantage of this planet, which makes things go by a lot faster. Also, I love how this is in the middle of the gigantic lava place. Here comes Bowser, rolling around. I don't know why I'm singing now. But I guess I am. Oh, I missed. Or oh, Bowser missed. Missed me. Oh my gosh. Also, don't touch the lava when he breaks the crystal open. It'll, it'll repair itself, but also it's still going to hurt you if you touch it too early. Okay. 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 There's a lot of those rings now. Hit me. Thank you. Oh, where is he going? Why is he going around the planet like that? But it's okay.
Welcome. Welcome, new galaxy. And that was Super Luigi Galaxy. I guess the idea was that all of the universe was in a single spot. And so the Lumas kind of recreated the world from what, from everything that was there. And I guess more or less rearranged it so that, like, it was all in a area near the, the Mushroom Kingdom planet, wherever it is. Hey, look, it's Mario, the main character of Super Luigi Gal Galaxy. His brother is just always trying to steal the spotlight. most of the stars in this run so far. We just have a few more left to do. But I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to have to use the, uh, the Luma that shuffles the comets around, but I probably will anyway, just because of the way I've done things. I definitely had a much better, um, way of unlocking things in Super Mario Galaxy. This music is still ph phenomenal. Such a great soundtrack for such a great game. It's 
my son. Look at him. I have to feed my son. And look at all of those bombos that you can get. I don't know how you could possibly get that many without them smashing into things. But they look happy about it. And we haven't had the red star yet. We also have to do that as well. Thank you for playing my game. And the purple comets have appeared. Uh, uh, no, I should probably actually save, because it kicks me out of my profile. So I should actually save, just after beating the game. Otherwise, it's gonna be problematic, because I would have to do that whole thing again. Oh my goodness. I have to do it all again anyway, but I don't want to do it again, again, again. But anyway, we have a crown now in our profile, and we can actually switch back to the Mario completed profile. But, we've already done everything there, so let's continue with Luigi Galaxy. Whee! Also for... Other profiles, you can't just start on Luigi, you have to be Mario first. Which is sad, unless you copied an empty Mario, like, an, like a full Mario pro profile, um, with an empty Luigi profile. That could be, that could work. Then you can just start a Luigi profile. And actually, I probably should have done that. Just had an extra one ready. But anyway, we have 35 stars left to get in the game. And then we can access another world, which is green text, because it made, it gave us Luigi Galaxy last time. But also, what happens when we've already been Luigi? I don't really know, to be honest. But anyway, let's grab our 20 mushrooms, uh, one-ups from Peach to Mario. Because Peach is our special one, <laughs> not, not Mario. She gave us 20, so it m we must be better. Well, there we go. Let's get started with the purple coins everywhere, basically. Which only appear after you beat the final Bowser. And Good Egg Galaxy is definitely the easiest one to start off. Definitely the easiest one. The later ones takes a lot longer and a lot more spread out. I can probably even get them all. I'm pretty sure I did them the most efficient route last time. We did this one, which is just use the the launch star inside of the launch star. Just keep spamming the the spin button. So here we go. Collect all 100 purple coins. No more, no less, because there are no more. But then you definitely need don't don't do less because otherwise nothing happens. Spin, 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 spin. I didn't mean to shoot the star bit, but I'm probably good on star bits already. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna need that many more. Very nice. Probably half of the coins are in the air. Actually, probably most of them are in the air. Since there's only a few on each planet. Or maybe it's split evenly. I don't know. Guess there are ten for each launch star that you take, which means that the combined launch stars have 20 each, and each planet has 
trying to think here. If there's 20 per launch star section, which is three, then there are 60 in the air. Um, right? <laughs> which leaves 40 for each. 40 between three planets, so... How much would that be? I can't... I don't even know how to sp do that. I can't think. Thinking is hard. Anyway, we did that now. And now, it's time to check the map. My favorite thing, because... Oh my goodness, there they are. Guess I should do... I'm just trying to think of which ones are harder than the others. Gusty Garden is pretty difficult because it has timer. Space Junk is alright. Ghostly Galaxy is also difficult because it has a timer as well. Um, let's do Space Junk because that one's not extremely long. And fairly easy, I guess. So let's do that. Luigi's so fast. The dome completion is going to be super fast in this run because I've already done all of the other extra stars already other than the comets. Purple coin spacewalk. I wish you could use the red stars inside of level sometimes. I don't think you can. Unless you hacked the game and put them in. But then you might also need to replace an object, possibly. I don't know. Probably not, actually. There's probably plenty of space for more objects. I don't know how these long jumps are actually working out for me right now. I have no idea where any of these platforms are. Just long jumping. Oh, get over there, thank you. This is... somehow working out. Nearly jumped off the edge just then, it's okay. Because we've got all of the purple coins already, and now we can just get to the star. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, don't fall off. I need to actually figure out which way to actually go. Pretty sure this is right. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Wow, that just grabs you. If you just drop the slightest bit. Let's try again. Okay. Let me think about this a little bit harder. Don't fall off the edge. Okay, got that written down. Definitely wrote that down and didn't just say that I wrote it down. If I play my cards right, I shouldn't have to worry too much about missing any. But that involves also not missing any, and I'm not sure if I can do that. The song is so good. It should be straightforward from this these purple coins. As long as I do the long jump this time and not long jump off the edge. I should have lined myself up with the black hole. I, know, I mean I did, but like the black hole's sort of centered. Sort of. Sort of. Now let me guess, there's no comets now that I did that star, right? That's what I'm expecting. Uh, no, not yet. Here's the map. Oh, there is one. Cool, that's good. Honey Hive. Let's go get that one. That one is somewhat long, right? I'm pretty sure. Long-ish. Full, 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 full jump. Full jump. Like, Luigi's triple jump just goes so high up. Oh, there's also a, 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 a regular star that I didn't get here, I guess. Oh, I guess that's probably Luigi. I don't know if I got the letter for Luigi yet. 
I might. The honey hives, pebble coins. So many pebble coins all over the place, everywhere. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> because that's all I can do, basically. Get that one, please. Da ba 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 da. Da 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 ba ba ba. Let me get that one without getting knocked off by a boulder. Okay. I like the music in this level. It's quite chill. Is there any other things up here? No. I'm guessing I can't make this jump work at all. Nope. Okay. Who put these purple coins here? What are purple coins? Are they like cosmic coins or something? Are they made out of space? Did space put these here? Oh, there's a coin there. That's okay, I'm over here now. And over here is okay-ish. For getting some more purple coins. Oh, oh, unless I do that. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I did. Let's try again. Making this take even longer. I don't like dying on 100 coins. Nice, I can just grab that without actually going off, off the edge. Nice. Nice grab. Nice grab. Okay. Let's keep going. Also hexagons, because bees, obviously. Because bees. Let me get all of the coins over here f first before moving on just quickly. I think there's only like one more, right? It's just this one up here. I think. Oh, there I go. How did I even land up there? I don't even know. It's fine. Everything is fine. Totally fine. Just so fine, I don't even know. Oh, that didn't do anything? Okay then. That should have done something. Definitely something. Oh, get up there, Luigi. Yeah, there we go. And now to not fall off the edge in this pipe area. No promises. Oh, Yahoo! We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. So good. Don't even know. Here's the one up to make up for the one up I lost. Have to get up back to 35 lives again. Oh, honey. Honey is the thing that killed me last time because I thought I was. It stopped me from jumping very high, so I panicked and then t tried to turn around and then that did not work out for me. Anyway, can't get those purple coins yet. I have to go around the whole whole way to get those. And now, how do I get to the other side? Do I have to break one of these? Yes, that one. Specifically that one. Kind of perfect. Also, it makes this one sprout over here as well. Just as it should be. Oh, come on. You can do better than that, Luigi. And I have to also get these ones on the slope, or I could just not, I guess. Luigi seems almost fast enough to actually get up there, but no, it makes him slide. Eventually. There probably actually is a better way to get up there than just jumping and spinning and hoping. But I wouldn't know how to get up there, so. Let's grab the rest of these coins over here at the very edge because the edge is good for me good for my health especially after collecting half of the coins okay okay breathing oh so good this is fine so fine okay oh my goodness sliding Luigi's sliding he is sliding 
gonna grab these so I don't have to come back. Hopefully. Okay, also these ones over here. Grab the M because- <gasps> Oh, sliding. I don't think you can actually slide off an edge. No, you can. Okay, cool. Good. Great. Good to know. So you can slide off of edges. Good. Great. I feel so much more confident now that I know that. For, for sure now. Maybe it depends on the type of edge, or maybe it just depends on how soon you stop when you're sliding towards an edge. That's probably the one. Anyway, this is fine. Let's keep going and don't die. Just that's all I need to know. Oh, come on, get that, Luigi. There we go. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more efficient. Up here before jumping down. Ah, my eye is twitching. I don't know why my eye is twitching. And it doesn't feel comfortable to have my eye twitching. Oh my goodness, Luigi, you're on that. You're walking sideways. Also, I don't think I can be efficient up here because I have to go down two different ways. I'm pretty sure. Which is just unfortunate. I guess I should go down the riskier way first just to make sure I don't. Messed that up. Oh my gosh. Everything's fine. So fine. Okay. Let's grab these. Oh, please. I'm trying to grab them with Luigi's fists because the fists do actually count. When they, and when they spin, they actually get a little bit of extra area. I just missed everything. Oh, hey. This is useful. I was about to say, because I missed them, I have to go down that whole, go that whole thing, do that whole thing again to get them. But no, I could actually just go up backwards for some reason. I'm quite happy that that worked. Where am I? I could not see Luigi for a second. My, my focus on him stopped and I could not see Luigi. Everything's fine now. Just have to get back up to the top and then jump off the edge. Just a little bit safer of an edge. This time. Okay, here we go. The last coins should be over here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to figure out where they are. Okay. Just ten more. Just nine more. Don't slide off the edge. <laughs> I slid right into that coin. <gasps> Sliding is so much fun. Seven. Oh, Luigi, stop doing that. Stop doing that, Luigi. Don't do that, please. Don't go around in circles when I'm holding a direction. I'm actually holding a direction, so why would it make me go in circles? It just does that sometimes. But anyway, there's the last coin. Now we just need to make it there without long jumping straight into a black hole. And that seems like, um, it's asking too much of me. So let me jump into a black hole real quick. And let's go grab the star. There we go. I'm so glad I didn't die at all. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't just fall into a black hole ever. But anyway, I believe now that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.